sitting in Frankie and Benin. I'm getting a few strange looks right now. Um, but yeah, it's half six. Um, we've been up since four. Our flight is in about an hour. Um, I think it's about three hours till we get there. And then we need to pick up our rental car um, and drive to our apartment that we've rented. So we picked an Airbnb. It's like 300 pounds for the weekend. It's like a luxury apartment with like an ocean view. It looks amazing. So I'm going to give you a little tour when we get there. But yeah, I've just ordered some eggs benedict and apple juice. So yeah. Um, but we're just going to head into Rakovic now. Um, it just so happens that it's the annual beer festival while we're here. And my dad was like, are you sure you didn't book that on purpose? But we didn't. Um, and we have got tickets. It's at a place called the Kex Hostel, um, which actually looks really nice. So I'm going to get some pictures and write up about it. We're not staying there, but I feel like if we were staying in Rakovic, I probably would definitely look into it because it looks really nice. Um, so yeah, we're going to go try some craft beers. And we're going to get the bus into town. It's about 15 minutes from here. And um, we have got a car, but obviously we're going to drink. So yeah, we are going to have some fun and hopefully not be too hungover tomorrow. We haven't got too many plans. I think we're going to go and explore Reykjavik in the day. Um, and then we're going to the Blue Lagoon at 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. So that will be amazing. Iceland. I'm just sitting here in this little hangy chair um, reading my book and waiting for Ben to get ready because he takes forever. Um, a little bit hungover today. We went to the beer festival and we got there and we've missed the beer festival. Um, it was on from 5 till 7 for the last few days but I think tonight's like the big night and they're going to go open until like 11 and there's some bands and stuff so we're going to go back down there. Um, but we stayed and had some beers anyway, it was really nice. Um, and then just came back here and watched Narcos on Netflix and drank some red wine and some rum. So a little bit hungover. Um, not really sure why I'm whispering. <laughs> Bad times. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into Reykjavik today. Um, so we saw like a little bit of it last night, but it was pretty dark when we got there. So it'll be nice to see it in the day. It looks so colourful and stuff in pictures, so I can't wait to explore and get some snappy. And then yeah, we're going to the Blue Lagoon at 5 o'clock, which I am so excited for. Um, and it was the last slot they had. Um, it's open till half eight, but I've been reading like, quite a lot of reviews online and everyone's saying it's actually better to go in the evening because from like 10 till 2, it's just absolutely packed. Um, so it'll be hard to get like pictures and really enjoy it. So I'm kind of glad that we're going um, this evening. Um, and then tomorrow we are going on a day tour um, with Mountaineers of Iceland and we're going to go um, on snowmobiles across the glaciers, which is going to be amazing. Um, so I'm going to try and vlog that as well. Hopefully not die or I'll lose my camera.
entrance to this amazing church. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name, so I just embarrassed myself. But we went right to the top and got some amazing pictures. The view was incredible. We're a little bit hungover, so we're going to go home and order some pizza. And then we are going to the Blue Lagoon Zoo. Sunday morning, it's 9am, we're a little bit tired but we are off to the Mountaineers of Iceland Pearl Tour, um, so we're going to the Golden Circle and we're going to go on some snowmobiles across the glaciers, I'm super excited, I've got a feeling it's going to be really cold and I don't have proper thermal so good luck with that. Um, they took us to the Golden Waterfall, which is called Gold Force. I don't know how you pronounce that, it's probably definitely not like that. Um, but it was beautiful, you can get so close and you can literally feel the spray in your face. We got some really good pictures. Um, and then so we drove about another hour, um, I think it was west. Um, it was literally pure white, loads of snow and we got on the snowmobiles. There's probably a group of about 20 of us, maybe a bit more. Um, and me and Ben like, took it in turns to drive. Um, so we drove for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and it was really hard to get used to it at first because you kind of just have to like go with it because if you try and fight the way the bike's like steering and stuff, that's when you kind of tend to fall off. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun and then we stopped for a little break and this guy proposed to his girlfriend. It was so cute and everyone was like really cheering and stuff and they were super happy. And I said to Ben, I was like, I can imagine if he like goes and falls off the bike and then I was like that would be the shortest proposal ever and then we actually fell off our bike and had quite a bad accident and um, we sort of like fell down the hill um, and the snowmobile like rolled on top of my leg um, so yeah it was a pretty like painful journey back but it was super fun um, so yeah today we've just been like hobbling around Reykjavik just to like get some pictures we found an amazing place for some fish and chips so we had lunch and we just tied in our apartment um, and we're heading back to the airport now mm -hmm. 